and good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you, my good and wonderful people of the tube. Hope you're all today, hope you're feeling grand, and always well in your world. Hello there, everybody. Uh, welcome to Guitar 5, final guitar of my recent jaunt to ATB Guitars in Cheltenham. This is the last guitar uh, I filmed that day. Uh, like I say, these videos are very short because I only had a, a, a brief period of time to do uh, the vids. So uh, I couldn't like go crazy long on each guitar, sadly. I, I would have li liked to, but again, you know, I, I didn't want to become too much of an annoyance to the people at ATB. So I thought I'll keep them short as I can. Anyway, Tube, this is the final guitar. Um, and this guitar was insane. Today's vid, People of the Tube, is all about a 1960 Gibson Les Paul Standard. Uh, this was owned by one of the members of the Hollies, and this guitar was insane. Uh, I've been very lucky in my life to play a lot of vintage Gibsons Les Pauls. I've played uh, 52s, played 54s, uh, I played 57s, uh, I played 58, I played, uh, I think I played 259s. And this, I've never played a 60. I'd never played a 60, a 60 Les Paul. And this is the first one I'd laid my hands on. And I was like, this is it. That's the best feeling vintage Gibson Les Paul I've, I've played. Uh, the neck was fantastic. It's a, it's a lot, it's a little bit skinnier than a, than a 59. Didn't quite have that kind of V profile that 59s have, 58s have. Um, Oh my god! I, I, I remember they had two that day, you know, in, in ATB, um, and I picked the first one up, and I was like, yeah, nah, yeah, it's not talking to me. Put it back, and I picked up the one you're about to see, and I was just like, oh, that's good, that's good, and I was like, right, I need to plug that in. Plugged it in, and I was just like, that's that sound. That's the sound that it, it had the sound I looked for in a Les Paul. When I plug a Les Paul in. It has to have a certain sound, uh, or, or or do kind of like you know what I want to hear, so to say, you know, if, if that makes any sense. And this one just had that classic Les Paul thing, and I was just like, oh my god, this is so good. So I was like, right, camera on, let's go. And what came out is what came out, but it was a great, great guitar. This one, really nice. The neck was great. It played great. Oh, it looked fantastic as well. It was in great condition. Uh, something good. It faded, uh, as you'll see in the video. It's got no burst left, really. It's pretty much just like a, you know, a lemon a lemon drop now. Uh, I don't know what burst it would have been uh, back in the day. I don't know if it was tobacco burst or cherry burst. I, I, don't, I really don't know. But it's an early 60s because it's faded. Uh, later 60s ones had to reflect the knobs and didn't really fade. And they had that tomato soup burst because people didn't like to see them fade. Um, which is strange now, because then that's like a desirable thing, you know, it's a bit of a weird, it's weird how things going to go round, you know. Anyway, but this guitar was amazing. I would say this is like number three. On on all the five guitars I played while I was there for, uh, for videos, uh, my top, uh, this was probably like number three on my top five. Uh, the Telecaster was probably number four, and the Gibson was number five. Um, and the top one being that Karina Strat, which is in the last video. It, it was just ridiculous that Strat was. But this Les Paul was fantastic. It really was. Um, it just screamed and it just sang. It had such a voice to it. And it was just... It was... And a funny enough, this is, this is probably... When I was playing this guitar... For whatever reason, um, the world vanished faster than it did with the other ones. You know, um, when I was playing the Karina Strat, the world disappeared slowly. Uh, when I played the Jag, disappeared slowly. The, the, the Telecaster took a bit of time, and the Fru Fru the Fru uh, sorry, the L5, sorry. Um, the world didn't really disappear so much. I was kind of a bit more aware of my surroundings. But this, this Les Paul, it was kind of one of those immediate things of like, you know, you, you, you hit play... On the uh, on the loop, I I hit play on the loop, I'd, the loop I'd made, and I was just kind of gone. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up talking because that's enough. You need to hear this thing. So yeah, the 1960 Gibson Les Paul standard. This is the final vid of like say the videos I filmed at ATB. I, I'm definitely going back. There were some other guitars that I would have I I am denied about a filming. They had like some they had like a 62 Strat and a couple of other SGs and a couple of acoustics, and I am denied about it. And then I ran out of time. I am denied too much. So uh, I will be going back to the tube at some point to ATB and I'm going to get some more vids uh, 
for you from there and, and just see what comes out of these things. Because like I say, the L5 was an absolute curveball when I said, Electro Beat! Bizarro. But anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the song come out this guitar though, because this guitar was really, really nice. It was just... There was something very, it was something very special about this one. It, it really did feel very, very special. Uh, not quite as special as the Karina Strat and the Jag, but it was great. It really was. And again, huge thanks to ATB for having me. It was, it's always an honor uh, to go there and be surrounded by such amazing historical instruments and to be able to play them, just plug them in and play them and, and just enjoy them. Because, you know, a lot of these guitars that you get to play in ATB, you know, people like, you know, we, we, we can't, afford these things you can't go out and just buy a 1960s gibson les paul you know it's not one of those things so for them to let people in to play these things i think says so much about them it, it's awesome and you know i it, i love that i love that and they're ace there they're absolutely amazing there um so yeah massive thanks to atb massive thanks to all of you out there watching thank you so much people tube uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the song that comes out of this guitar. And uh, if you'd like to support the channel, please consider becoming a patron at Patreon. Uh, as well, that's the link in the description box below, uh, below. As well as a link to my band camp. It's been a long morning. Uh, where you can go and listen to my music. Anyway, people, there you go. This is the last guitar of the five I filmed at ATB. Hope you enjoyed this. Goodbye now. Thanks for watching. This one was a, a toe curler. <laughs>